Welcome to a Stanford Medicine 25 video on vesicular and bronchial breath sounds. My name is Dr. Andrew Elder from Edinburgh in Scotland and I'm a visiting associate professor here at Stanford University in California. This graphic illustrates the key differences that can be identified in auscultation that can help you differentiate between vesicular and bronchial breathing or breath sounds. In vesicular breathing, inspiration is characteristically longer than expiration, is louder than expiration, and there is no discernible gap between inspiration and expiration. Listen to the bases of your patient's lungs to hear vesicular breath sounds most prominently. Bronchial breathing, which can be mimicked by listening over the trachea, differ from vesicular in that they are louder and have a different quality. In addition, in inspiration, they are of similar loudness as an expiration, of similar duration as an expiration, and there is a discernible gap between inspiration and expiration. Listening over the trachea is a useful way to enable students to distinguish between normal vesicular breathing or bronchial breathing that they may encounter in the lung. Bronchial, also known as tubular breath sounds, should not be heard over normal lung parenchyma. However, bronchial breath sounds may replace the normal vesicular breath sounds in certain pathological findings, which include the consolidated lung of pneumonia, atelectasis, and with a pulmonary mass. It should be noted that if the airways are involved, then no lung sounds may be heard. This has been a Stanford Medicine 25 video on vesicular and bronchial breath sounds. Thanks for watching. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.